Back in, back in, Junior Jones, Junior Jones, Junior Jones. Bantamweight world champion right here, uh, Junior Jones. Okay, there we go. I ran Barkley, I ran Barkley, I ran Barkley. Here we are, we're here in for the signing. I got somebody coming on in. Here he is, here he is. Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, Matt Fagano. Here, you get ready to sign it. But you ain't getting any money from us. Don't yeah, expect so. to get anything from us. So. Oh, very good. Here we go. Here we go. Junior man. 1986. Where were we, brother? Where were we? Where were we? Where were we? in Buffalo. We were in Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York. Right. 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 And I saw you there. Dude. Right. 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 We've been gang gang all over the place. And what, you, what, what club did you fight out of? Uh, what club? I fought in the pal. What's that? The pal. Which one? I know, but what, what's what state? Um, it was Fort Pio. What's that? Sports Center. Sports Center. Sports Center. Sports Center. So, what was the name of your team? I was the Indy Powell Club. What was the name of your team? So, man, look, you're losing, you're losing on me today. Barkley, Barkley, Barkley. What was the name of your your amateur boxing team? My amateur boxing team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Julian Jones. Julian Jones. Julian Jones. Yeah. Well, yeah. And what about you? What about you? How far? What's how far did you go in the gloves? Twice. In New York. Oh, wow! That's a three times. I won two gloves. Wow! Did you win the Empire Games? I won three times. Oh. That's what's. I won. Yeah, I was second runner up in, in the Empire, Empire Games. Games. Yeah, it's got you, man. It's got you. Oh, man. is Mill out there? Mill out there? Hey, look, look, man. Could you, uh, what was the, how far did you go in the amateurs? I went all the way. Yeah, man. I won, I won, uh, he today, man. I won a, uh, a, 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 a,
Amen, amen, amen. You would have loved that. Here we go, here we go, here we go with Iran. I just want to let you know today you got a signed a Reddick Big Daddy bow. Did you guys all see that? So, Ira, all you got to do today, Jones, is you got to get your picture with the champ. Is that cool? What champ? This champ, me and you. We got to get the picture. <laughs> see, look at him, man. Hey, tell him, tell him about, I just want to know, tell him about your, your serving experience that we had. What serving experience? I, I saw you serving in the, yeah, yeah, you, no, no, when I saw you service, no, we were at that bar together, not a restaurant together, and you started being a server. Yeah, I started over there, I started going around. <laughs> tell him what you did, tell him what you did. Like, yeah, it's everything one I ran down. I'm like, no, I'm not too waiting. So, so the thing is, I forgot who put me up to it. Somebody put me up to do that. Yeah. But it wasn't my idea. So I'm not the bad guy. <laughs> and everybody, I think, got their legitimate order, didn't they? Yeah, they really put, but it's crazy. I was, I was dressed, it's funny, I was dressed in the black suit. Uh-huh. They thought I was the waitress. They asked me their order. He was going around the restaurant. Which restaurant was we at in New York? I don't even remember it. I forget the best. I know. I I yeah, right yeah. Now, I sat down and ate, and they were <laughs> Me, you, Ice Man. Who was all with us that night? Me, you, Ice Man. We're going over there. There's his boxing icons. Melton's in the house. Here he is. Mark was there. Mark Breland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll have having a time. Hey. Now, did <laughs> how did you get that little pen and that little paper? Where did you pick that up? Yeah. And yeah, it was hilarious. Hilarious. Well, it was funny. People would actually give me their orders. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> yeah, and you just act like you knew what's going on. Yeah, well, uh, 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 the drinkers give me everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to say hi hello to Milton. Again, uh, here we go. All right, all right. Boxing icons, boxing icons. Ring 10, I see the hat, I see the hat. Tell me what's going on today. Tell me what's going on today. Really 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 Rafael, Rafael from Ring 10, you know, big boxing fan, work with Milton for Icons of Boxing. Support the cause, man. Boxing is the greatest sport of all time, in my opinion. All right, now I just I got to talk to him a little bit. He's telling me about Pernell Whitaker. He thought he was a pretty good boxer. Oh, best fighter of all time. My favorite fighter of all time. Pernell Whitaker. Yeah, hands down. Did he beat Chavez that night? I beat him easy. Nine, nine out of the 12 rounds he won. In, in, my in your opinion. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe right. that they score 114, 114. I, how do you come up with the 114, 114? That's robbery. Let me talk about I thought the Tyson Fury fight was. Uh, what do you think of the Tyson Fury Dante I, I, Wilder? I, no, my heart says Fury won. Milton. But I wasn't upset because the champ came out strong in the end, knocked him down. So I wasn't really that upset with the, the, the draw. But the guy gets Fury. Crazy respect. Crazy respect. Yeah, you do. Boxers, I think you won a lot of people's hearts. Yeah. I mean, you know, really, I did. I did. Boxing fans knew that Fury was going to give him trouble. Like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm with you. Well, thank you so much for your time. Man, you guys are doing a great job. No problem. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. All right. There we go. Back over to Junior. Nothing in the end of the Ring 10. Riddick Bow. You see all his vision. We help you. Got his belts here. Riddick, what's your favorite What's your favorite thing here? item here today? I would have to say this picture here. This picture there. Now um, tell me about this picture. Well, one of, well, as you can see, I got all belts. That's not a big event. I hold the belt for the undisputed heavyweight championship. 
<clears throat> the Undisputed Heavyweight Championship. And what year was this? That was 1992. 1992. 25, 25 years ago. I can't believe it. Well, hey, we're a big fan of yours, Riddick. Big fan. I saw you at the Vegas Hall of Fame. I've seen you everywhere. You know, I'm a big fan of yours. Uh, who is this guy right there? How are you, buddy? Bitch ass, bro. All right, I know he is. I haven't seen him in 20 years. You haven't seen him in 20 years? What year is this? That's 1987. And what is this here? You won the the Golden Gloves in New York? That's what they used to call me, Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky? Pretty Ricky. Look how pretty I am, man. Pretty Ricky. Pretty Ricky, bro. Yeah. Uh, all right. So I'm going to let you get to go to your th- to you guys. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for your thing. God bless you. Bless you. God bless you. Matt, Matt, I just want to say a quick interview with you. What do you think of today? What do you think of today? What do you think of today with the signing? I think it's great. I think it's great to see Bo again. I haven't seen him in a while, and, and uh, I'm hoping... Well. Tell us what Ring 10 does, because a lot of people don't understand Ring 10. Uh, Ring 10 is a non-for-profit that finds fighters. Most of the fighters that we all know of are um, uh, in bad financial shape, physical shape, mental shape. Ring 10 steps in and finds out what it needs to get them back on their feet, and we get them back on their feet. And name of some of the, uh, the, the famous fighters that you have helped, and they don't have to be just famous, just fighters that you've helped in this part in part of your process. Oh, sounds good, but I can't do that because okay. we, we don't okay. try to boast about yeah, absolutely, it. Absolutely. Makes sense, right? So how many, I, I, we're talking about your boxing career you had how many amateur fights you're not sure about between 50 60 70 I and, wh- and, wh- and where did you fight out of fought out of new york new york mostly, uh, long island brooklyn and your amateur career what was your weight thank uh, you amateur weight i was i was think it was always the middle